Hi everyone, welcome to Eco Learning Classes. This is Professor Geeta Mahesh. Dear students, let us discuss an interesting and important concept, gold standard. What is gold standard means? In the economy, they used to use gold coins as a medium of exchange. Now, how we are using currency notes and coins as a medium of exchange? They used to use gold coins as a medium of exchange. That system we call it as gold standard. This gold standard was existed between 1870 to 1914. That means it was in between 1872 outbreak of first world war. There was a existence of gold standard. During that period, the currencies were designed in terms of gold and few countries currencies were actually made up of gold. All those countries who are participated in the international trade, they committed to guarantee full convertibility of its currency into gold at a fixed price. What is full convertibility of currencies? into a gold at a fixed price means let me take an example if to make one dollar to make one dollar they used to use one gram gold and the price of one gram gold is 500 rupees then what is the exchange rate one dollar is equal to rupees 500 during that time one gram gold is rupees 500 means at a fixed price of gold they used to allow to convert the currency into gold at a fixed price and all participating countries committed to guarantee this free convertibility of currency it made possible for each currency to be converted into all others at a fixed price only under gold standard, exchange rates were determined by its worth in terms of gold where the currencies were made up of gold. That means how much gold is used to make a, a particular country currency is considered to determine the exchange rate. Let us understand this with the help of an example. Let us assume there are two countries, country A and country B. To make country A's currency, they have used 1 gram gold. Country A currency consists of 1 gram gold and country B's currency consists of 2 gram gold. Now, how to determine the exchange rate? We can easily, we can say that as it is used 1 gram to make a country currency, to buy 1 coin or 1 currency of B country, we have to give two coins of A country as it uses one gram. So one plus one, you will get a two grams, which is equal to B country's currency, which consists of two coins. Let us understand this. See here the coin, which is belong to B country and it is used to make a two grams. And here there is a two coins. Each coin consists of 1 gram gold and it is a, a currency of A country. To have 1 B country currency, they have to give 2 A country currency. To maintain official parity or equality, each country needed to maintain adequate stock of gold reserves. All countries on gold standard will have a stable exchange rate. So each country are using uh, gold as a medium of exchange. Then the exchange rate between two countries will be stable for long period of time as exchange rate is determined by considering the fixed price of gold. And there was a question. If a country is experiencing deficit balance of payment, that means exports are less and imports are more means your receipts are less and payments are more so gold will go outside the country and what you use or receive 
gold as a payment will be less. So let us understand that with the help of a flow chart. There are two countries A country and B country. A country is importing from B country that means B country is exporting to A country. When B country is exporting A country is making payment and it is making payment in terms of gold as they are using gold as a medium of exchange. So by exporting B country is able to get more gold and stock of gold in B country is going to increase. As A country is importing more from B country, the stock of gold in this country is going to decrease because they are making payment in terms of gold and gold will be accumulated in the B country. So there was a problem for our, the mercantilist explained that it is a worst condition or a worst tragedy for A country because it is losing its stock of gold. So but for that reason mercantilists suggested that the state should intervene and it should impose or control flow of gold from A country to B country by imposing tariffs, quotas or giving subsidy on exports. A country would lose all its gold if it is not going to interfere and control and this becomes uh, one of the worst tragedy for a country. Professor David Hume who was a philosopher in 1752, he explains that no need to worry about the condition of country A because when all the golds, the stock of gold will be accumulated in the country B. Now in the country B what happens? Demand for goods will be more than the supply of goods. And in B country prices of goods and services will increase. And in A country what will be the condition means? Demand for goods will be less as gold in the hands of public will be less supply of goods will be more so the prices of a country's goods will be decreased and here uh, in a country the goods and services will be available at a cheaper rate for b country it becomes expensive as demand is more than the supply of goods and services now what happens previously B country was exporting and A country was making payment. Now the situation will be reverse. See here B country was exporting now it will start importing from A country. It is going to import from A country because in A country goods will be available at a cheaper rate. And B country will be making payment in terms of gold as it is importing from A country. Now gold will move to A country and the stock of gold in the A country is going to increase. David Hume calls this as a price spice flow. So it is going to correct itself. No need of government intervention. So equilibrium will be established and it is a self-correcting, no need of government intervention. What are the several crises caused the gold standard to break down periodically? The first one is if there is necessity to increase the production of goods and services or we want to increase economic growth, then there should be a supply of gold equivalent to economic growth. If you want to increase economic growth by 4%, then the supply of gold should increase by 4%. Otherwise, the prices are going to fall and we cannot maintain the price stability. What is price stability? Means price should remain constant for long period of time. So here, the price levels were at the mercy of gold discovery. If the supply of gold is going to increase, then you are going to produce goods and services. That means you are going to supply goods and services when gold 
supply is increasing supply of goods and services if we increase the demand will be equivalent to supply otherwise hap what happens if gold supply of gold decreases demand decreases when demand decreases or less than the supply definitely what happens when demand is less than the supply the prices of goods and services are going to decrease because of this reason we call price levels were at the mercy of gold discovery this was explained by crude quantity theory of money because of these two reasons there was a breakdown of gold standard so they introduced alternative methods one is bimetallism what is bimetallism means along with the gold they used silver as a supplement and they used both gold and silver as a medium of exchange good example for bimetallism is british india and uk later they introduced paper currency which was not entirely backed by gold is another way on economize the gold and only large countries like usa and uk they backed their, their currencies by gold 100% backing their currency by gold and those countries which backed their currency 100% their gold exchange standard was stable as they used to determine at a fixed price during 1914 to 45 there was no maintained universal system but this period saw both returns to gold standard and flexible exchange rate dear students you can make use of this notes on gold standard this is important for 6 marks next topic fixed exchange rate dear students if you like please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much